Guys, right here we have the most venomous rattlesnake here in the state of Texas, maybe even the United States. This right here is the Mojave rattlesnake. And here in Texas, we have the green face Mojave. You'll see why they call them a green face Mojave here in a second once I get them out of here. But these guys are so venomous that they've actually been given a name for their very own toxin. And the toxin is named after these snakes. It's called a Mojave toxin. And you see, I'm being very, very careful with these guys because they tend to be a little bit bitey. It's almost like they know how bad to the bone they are. Let me get them out of here for you. Woo. Right here, this is the Mojave, Crotalus scutellatus, scutellatus. And you see, he is really just eyeballing me. A little bit too much that I kind of don't want to get within his strike range. These guys have a primarily neurotoxic venom, which isn't unheard of in rattlesnakes, but it's just not as common. And this dude will pretty much drop you on your socks. You do not want to take a hit from this fella. You can see right now he's got his tongue out and he's just holding it out of his head. And he's sitting there flickering it and capturing the air particles. And then he's going to bring them inside and analyze them. And that gives them a perfect reading on where to strike. And they are deadly accurate. And then another great thing about him is since he is a rattlesnake, he is also a pit viper. He's got thermal heat seeking pits right in the front of his face. And he's really using them right now. He's just eyeballing me. And these guys are very intimidating snakes. And if you're a novice to snake hunting, they can kind of confuse you with the diamondback rattlesnake. They do kind of favor a western diamondback. And if you look at them, the way that I used to discern them is their eyes have sit kind of closer up on the top of their head. And then they also have these big, huge eye caps that go over them. So they got these kind of plates that go right over their eyes. And then also their facial stripe will go from their eyeball all the way past their mouth. Whereas like a diamondback will stop, it'll go past their mouth, but it won't go all the way to the back line. And then some way people use to discern them is these white bands. Typically, a Mojave rattlesnake will have whiter white bands than black bands, whereas diamondbacks are usually pretty equal. And so this guy is clearly a Mojave. He's got that beautiful green tint. The facial striping is, is perfect. And he's also got a crazy diamond pattern, which the diamonds are kind of merging on his back. But a gorgeous, gorgeous rattlesnake. Uh, you pretty much can't beat these dudes and uh, aggressiveness and just willingness to defend themselves. They won't come chasing after you, but by gosh, they're pretty hard to back down from a fight. Like you'll see right now, if I were to step towards this guy, look at that just epic strike pose. I mean, he goes for the intimidation factor. And if you press any forward, he will, no, make no mistake about it, he will get you. And he'll tag you and it'll definitely be enough to take you out, especially out here where there's nothing around us. So you gotta respect these snakes. They are amazing snakes. And uh, I praise God every time I see a Mojave and I always ask for his protection when messing with them, taking pictures of them and filming them. But we're gonna let this fella go. I love this guy. And uh, we'll put him right back up in his bush. Make sure that nothing sees him out here. Hopefully he won't get picked up by a hawk or nothing. There you go, little Mojave. There you go, buddy. See you later, man.